Hello, welcome to Arab Business brought to you by Levant TV. Fadi Jmail, president of the Association of Lebanese Industrialists, called Thursday for the adoption of a wide and complete economic strategy in a bid to boost industry and other sectors of the Lebanese economy. Jmail added that GDP stands at only 47 billion US dollars despite the great skills and resources prevailing in the country. Moving on to Iraq plans to increase its southern oil storage capacity to 15 million barrels by the end of this year to help cope with export bottlenecks uh, caused by bad weather and to absorb rising production. Speaking at the opening of three new oil storage tanks near the southern city of Basra, Deputy Oil Minister Fayyad al nirma said the new facility will add more than 1 million barrels of capacity to the existing 9.5 million. Italy's World Duty Free says it has signed a five-year contract to operate stores at Kuwait International Airport, extending a concession the travel retailer was already running with a local partner. In a statement, World Duty Free said the contract, which is effective from March this year, includes an option for an additional year under the same conditions. And house rents in Qatar have gone up by about 20% over the past one year, but the oil price crash may help stabilize the market and prevent an unreasonable further hike, according to industry officials. The dwindling oil prices, however, have not caused a downturn in the market until now, which is witnessing a good demand for properties, especially in the residential sector. Rents for a two-bedroom flat currently range from 6,000 to 7,500 Qatari rials, while a three-bedroom facility costs up to 10,000 a month, and rents for medium-range villas have gone up from 12,000 to 15,000 over the past year. And finally, Yemen's foreign exchange reserves have stabilized after a steep fall due to its political turmoil, but ballooning government debt issuance indicates the country may be moving closer to a fiscal crunch. The central bank figures showed gross foreign reserves, which had sunk to 4.65 billion US dollars in November, from 5.35 billion at the end of 2013, which recovered slightly in December to 4.67 billion, equivalent to 4.6 months of the country's imports. This suggests that for now, at least Yemen can avoid a collapse of its external payments position, but a sharp rise of domestic borrowing by the government shows it is being forced to borrow heavily from local banks to stay afloat. That's all for now. For more updates, please visit levant.tv. Thanks for watching Arab Business and bye for now.